Greetings, this is Brandon with Primarily Pens. Today I have the Visconti Taj Mahal. This pen was released in 1996 and does not fall within my usual pen style, but I was curious about the use of silver filigree. Start at the top, we have a stylized profile of the Taj Mahal dome. Of course, a focal point is a silver filigree. Filigree is a form of intricate metalwork and is usually of gold or silver made with tiny beads or twisted spine wire soldered together. I believe in this case, the filigree is crafted into a rectangle and then hammered to form a cylinder and then welded together. You can see the scene where the frame is welded. This apparently is all done by hand using traditional Indian techniques, each piece requiring about 30 hours to complete. This pen is constructed of black natural resin with silver filigree in a series of 888 pens. There is also a burgundy resin version with rose gold ferme filigree in a series of 388 pieces and an ancient ivory version with gold filigree in a series of 88 pieces. This kind of certifies that the ivory was used was imported to Italy in 1950 and a certification for sale in both Europe and elsewhere. I have not seen one in person, but have to guess it's very attractive. The pen is clipless and does not post. The cap is half the overall length, which is a bit unusual. The barrel has more of the silver filigree, but a different pattern. Again, very intricate. The bottom of the pen says Visconti Taj Mahal Limited Edition and gives the pen number and series size. For a resin pen, this is rather hefty, coming in at 60 grams, most likely due to the large 19 millimeter diameter and a significant amount of silver filigree. Opening up the pen, you see a long grip section that steps up to the full body diameter. The grip is all resin like the rest of the body and cap, but it's not slippery and feels good in the hand. There's enough space before the step up, so you do not feel the damage change at all. The heavy back end rests in the webbing, so it feels balanced. It comes with a two-tone 18 karat gold nib. The pen uses a Visconti's high vacuum power filler system. To use, you unscrew the back, pull the plunger, and press back down again. The pen comes with a rather attractive Briarwood presentation box. The finely inlaid cover recalls the screen, also known as a Jalus, that surrounds the Taj Mahal cenotaphs. It is presented with the pen open, so you can't use the box to hold the pen while inked. It has a nameplate with Visconti, the pen name, and the pen number. Lifting up the cover reveals the leather pen sleeve. And a nice pamphlet describing the pen and explain how to use a filling system. Well, there you have it. The Visconti Taj Mahal. The silver filigree is wonderfully detailed and represents a tremendous amount of meticulous labor. The equally sized cap and body is an interesting choice. For a resin body pen is rather hefty, which I like, and an usually beautiful pen. Please leave comments below, take a look at my other reviews, and subscribe to Primarily Pens. I will have additional reviews soon.